Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review, and now, the next one I'm going to be reviewing is another Disney Pixar film, um, and this one I really do enjoy, and I'm sure, like a lot of people, I'm very sure that a lot of people do enjoy this film as well, you know, and um, now I'm going to be doing The Incredibles. Um, the Incredibles was a, was the, was an animated film that Disney Pixar film that was released in November to um 2004. And what were we gonna say about? It? I really do enjoy this film. You know, I enjoy this film a lot, and I'm very sure like eight or more than eight percent people do enjoy The Incredibles. Um, and it's really it's hard to believe that it's already been over ten years since this film came out. You know. And the film was, when the film came out, it was critically acclaimed, you know, it was, like, got a lot of praise, you know, and made a lot of money, and, and now, and, uh, even, uh, my brother, he, well, he, he really wanted to see a sequel, you know, and, of course, you yeah, years, after this film, after this film's release, years went by, there was no talk of a sequel, now, recently, in, earlier in this year, you know, they now are going to plan to make a sequel, you know. No release date, though, but they, they're talking about making a sequel, you know. So, which, uh, at least, uh, I'm glad they're finally going to make a sequel to this, because it's been over, well, I think it's been over, t it's going to be over, t over 10 years since this film came out, and, like, same thing with uh, Finding Nemo, you know, the that came out in 2003, and finally, said, and now it's finally going to get, and that film's finally going to get a sequel called Finding Dory, and that's going to come out in 2017, it's been, like, 14 years after the first film came out, you know. So, then that's the same thing with this. Um, and the, the, the film is directed by Brad Bird, who who um who directed uh, who directed other films like um before before um The Incredibles. He directed um another uh, film that was critically acclaimed that was The Iron Giant, where that was a film that Vin Diesel voiced the Iron Giant. You know, that film got a lot of praise, but it didn't. Do well at the box office, sadly, you know. And before the Iron Giant, he was a writer. He wrote on uh, Batteries Not Included, which I do like that film, Batteries Not Included. And then after Incredibles, he directed another Disney Pixar film, Ratatouille, in 2007. And I and I like Ratatouille, you know. And then in 2011, he directed the fourth film to the Mission Impossible franchise, Ghost Protocol, which I still haven't seen though. And now he's directing, and now. In next in 2015, he's directing a, 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 a Disney film called Tomorrowland with uh, George Clooney, you know. But um, I, 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 I enjoy this film a lot, you know. And, and like I said, when the film came out, it got a lot of praise. It has a 97% Rotten Tomatoes and has an 8.0 on IMDb, which I think it deserves. And the film grossed over uh, 631 million on a budget of night of a budget of 90, 92 million, so it was a big hit. Made one of the top 10 highest grossing films of 2004. And the voice, and also, and I and I also enjoy the also enjoy the voice cast as well, you know, which I'll get into as I'm going along the story, you know. And also before that, this also won, uh, won two Academy Award Academy Awards, um, including for best. Animated feature film and uh, best it was a uh, sound best uh, sound editing I think it was so one so it was nominated for a lot of a uh, um, for for uh, awards so including two Academy Awards you know now finally now finally get into the story that um you know it opens up in a, in a town you know where there's of course there's superheroes you know and one of them is Mr. Incredible, voiced by Craig T. Nelson from Poltergeist, you know, and the sequel, and among other films, you know, he's a he's a good actor, and I, he was he was really great as as Mr. Incredible, Craig Craig T. Nelson. Um, he's Mr. Incredible, whose power is super strength, you know. Um, and he has a, there's other superheroes as well. There's Frozone, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson. And you know, like also they talk and if the sequel to made um Samuel Jackson's gonna come back as um as Frozone. And that's him that's him right there, Frozone. Um and also uh uh Elastigirl, voiced by uh, Holly Hunter. 
and they're, you know, using this to save the day, you know, and also that, um, Mr. Incredible had, there was his, there was his, there was his boy by, um, who, who was supposed to be his, like, his biggest fan, you know, and he wants to be a partner, be a, be a, have a partnership with Mr. Incredible, you know, um, what is name, which is name, which is, first his name was called Buddy, you know, he wanted to work as a, work as a team, but he tells Mr. If you tell but Mr. Crow tells him, "Go home, buddy. I work alone." You know, and he saves the guy from committing suicide or jumping off a building, and and then after that, um, Mr. Incredible and Elastic Girl they get married, and and soon after that they get um, the super, uh, Mr. Incredible he gets uh, gets like sued by um by the by like the thing that the city including by the guy because he guy the guy didn't want to be saved you know the guy was committing, committing suicide you know so also um but also he also um stopped um one of those uh um uh what is it um a train that um mm, it was a type of train you know like that goes on like um let me look it up really quick um there was a type of train, and he saves the people, but they also they end up getting injured as well, you know, and they also sue him for that. Um, hold on a second, I just want to say. It's, um, a monorail, that's what it was, a monorail train. They, they stopped, spin, they all, the people got injured, so. So, with all with all that, um, the, the superheroes also are... Guess to you know the force, you know to hide, be in hiding, you know be among other people to live as normal lives as regular people, you know. So it's been years later, you know. Um, Mr. Incredible, who is also his name is Bob, he works as an insurance company, you know, and um, Helen as a um, elastic girl, you know. They have three kids, you know, Violet Dash and um, which uh, Dash is who's just a super super speed and. Violet, who has two powers, be invisible and create force fields, and they have a third one called uh, Jack Jack, who is still a baby. Which they say that um, um, uh, Helen says that he has no powers, you know. And and one day, one day, one night, you know, um, uh, Frozone comes over, you know, um, says that um, you know, do the good they him and um. Mr. Incredible go out, you know, which to um, Elastic Girl, you know, I think it's bowling night though, but really they're just hanging out, but looking if there's any trouble, you know, to save people, you know. <laughs> so, and then well, let's see what was the, what happened, what happened next. Um, oh well, um, he, uh, Mr. Incredible he gets like a message, you know, and which which requires him to go back to being a superhero, you know, to go to this um this uh this island and which of course he like he doesn't say this to um his wife thinks it's like a business trip you know so he goes to he goes to this place with, with his old uniform on you know he's like a little he's like a little out of shape you know um and where he where he meets um he he meets um this uh the, the this uh woman um name of Mar marriage which is voiced by by um, Elizabeth P uh, Pena, who is who recently that was recently passed. Who like I did I did a video and she recently passed away. You know, well, like Elizabeth Pena, like I said, she was in Jacob's Ladder. She was in um, Free Willy Two, the the the, um, the Adventure Home, and also um in Rush in Rush Hour. She um she voices in this film as the as the supervillain's agent um Marge. You know, I think it was the name Marge. So DC explains, you know, that um, there's some like this robot terrorizing, you know, which is which is gonna be you see, see the robot later on in the end of the film, you know, which it was only a test, you know, to, to see what um, what Mr. Kreble does, you know, and he defeats it, you know, by going inside the robot and the robot pen, uh, piercing itself, you know, and destroys itself, you know. So um, they tell the need to, need to, um, to come back, you know, to come back, you know. Do other, do other stuff, you know. And he's keeping going out more and more, you know. But he's also working on getting back into shape, you know. And and uh, what was it? Um, um, 
um, uh, Helen, one of the ways she goes and he goes into his um his like office, you know, and sees that um. Well, before well before that, um, Mr. Incredible it goes into the fact that the, the um this woman who does right there um what was the name um in 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 the in the mode who who does the costume designs for superheroes, you know. He he uh, he goes to her first, you know, to know that she wants to change the costumes, you know. Well, because fix the little thing that um will the little a little like a little scratch on his costume though, and tell us I'm like no, he wants a cape. Well, case and um and I tell him no case because he because he shows uh, like a flashback of like all different past superheroes who died, you know, go from their capes, you know, like one caught in a tornado or got on an airplane, you know, or elevator or whatever, you know. So it gives him a new cha new change of costume, you know, and and then after that, when um, then Helen goes over to the place to see because the because see how he fixed um, Mr. Incredible's original costume, you know, and she gives he gives her a tour about the of her children's costumes, you know, what the what their powers will do, you know, with the costume, you know. Um, and Mr. Incredible goes back to the island, you know, and then he gets attacked by the same robot again, more improved, you know, and then he meets um. The new villain, uh, Syndrome, boy, played by, which before, um, played by, voiced by Jason Lee. You know, Jason Lee, um, you know, mostly on the he plays as Dave from the Alpha and the Chipmunks films, you know. But he's been in other films as well. Um, okay. um, and he, he, he's, he's, he's the new super, he's the new super villain, and he tells, he calls himself Syndrome, he tells him, he remembers that I was your biggest fan, you know, and he remembers that was Buddy from a while back in, he was just distraught after that, you know, about about what Mr. Incredible told him when he was when he was little, you know. So now he made him this improved robot, so he's the new supervillain, you know. Um, so he so he so he gets a fight like as these other wep weapons like you point issues like this thing that freezes him in place, you know. Um, he jumps into the river, throws throws like a little small bomb, ends up going to the small cavern where another. A deceased superhero called a uh, Gazer Beam, you know, and it looks like from point of view, he looks like um from one of the teeth, the cave teeth, you know, looks spells a name called Kronos. And to um syndrome, Mr. Kreble has been eliminated, you know, and he goes into it where the, he finds that the secret, the more about the secret base, you know, he inf infiltrates it, you know, and he goes into this um computer room, shows that um all these other deceased superheroes due to other robot prototypes, you know, that um, Syndrome has done, you know, or, or, or has done over the years. And Helen uh, activates the home and beacon, and Mr. Incredible gets caught. Um, by all of this this black bubble stuff, you know. So so he so he so she um goes once is going to go over there, and of course her her children um uh, Violet and Dash they sneak up on the, the airplane that she. That she's on, you know, and leaves Jack Jack alone with a babysitter, you know. So, but then, the, but then Syndrome orders like um like a missile, you know, to destroy the plane, and um. But then they'll do the they, they but they go fall in the water, but they end up swimming swimming to um to the um, island. Um. Well, they're still waiting on the island. Um, Elastigirl goes. Goes and infiltrate the hideout, you know, as well. Um, take out a few, take out a few guards, and um, when it's early in the next in the next morning, um, Violet and Dash they get chased by the by the Syndrome's um, henchmen, you know. When um, Dash is like his 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 super speed, you know, outruns a couple of um, like the um, hover crafts or whatever the bad guys have, you know. Um, and Violet has uses a use a force field and um to protect to protect Dash, you know, and he, he also like the idea where he, he runs and runs with inside the force field and it rolls and rolls, you know, and and then the other the first of the family reunites, but um they get they, they get caught and taken prison, you know. <clears throat> but uh, Violet um uses a force field to free herself from the thing and releases everyone. Um and while that's happening, um, Syndrome sends the big robot to destroy the city and make him look like the new soup. Um, tries to you know play, play, you know, 
destroy the thing because he's supposed to be the new superhero, but the robot learns about his remote and shoots it off his wrist, you know. Um, but then uh, the, but the, the rest of the, the, the family, they get back into the city, you know, and they try to find a way to stop it, you know, in Frozone. Um, like, I thought it was like, a funny scene, you know, when um, Frozone, he sees a robot, um, finds that his, co his costume is not there, and he's like, he asks his wife, Honey, where's my super suit, you know? Where's my super suit? <laughs> uh, that was uh, that was always a funny scene, you know. Um, so they try to try to find a way to stop, to stop the thing, you know, and and Mister Incredible um finds a way. He remembers that um he's like can't stop it, you know. The only thing hard enough to penetrate is itself, you know. How from the first test from before, you know. So they they use a syndromes remote to activates, you know, wherever the, one of the claws that, um, it released, you know, and has a jet, like a, sort of like a jet thing, you know, and flies and, and shoots right through the heart of the machine and destroy it, and it gets destroyed, you know. <clears throat> um. So then everyone, everyone's thanking them, you know, and they, they want, um, superheroes, the, was it like the, the mayor or something? Um. Um, I think I think it's a mirror or something like that. Do they want the superheroes to come out of hiding? You know, and when they get back to the house, Syndrome is back there. Um, um, taking um, Jack Jack, you know, and he said that um, he's you know he wants to like um, says oh okay, don't worry, don't worry about him. I'll be a good good mentor to him, and who knows, maybe he'll make a good sidekick, you know. So he's 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 supposed to fly up to his um escape plane and Jack Jack you know which the first the mother said that he has no powers but of course he, of course he does you know first she like um bursts himself into flames and turns like to steel you know and then it make, turns like to this red monster a little red monster you know like it's like choking him and rips out his hair you know but then it, but he but he but soon he um he drops him and um. Mr. Incredible tosses his wife to catch to catch him, you know, and then he throws his then Mr. Incredible throws his car back on his plane, you know, and then his cape uh, syndrome's plane gets caught in the um the engine and he gets and he gets killed and the the plane blows up, you know, and then of course it cuts to a some time later, you know, um where um Dash is like in his on the track team, you know, and he wins of course. And everyone's celebrating. He has a trophy. Then there's a new villain called the Underminer. Behold the Underminer, you know. And then, of course, the whole thing—they all put their masks on. And of course, the thing where you know Mr. Crabble does this, you know, showing the the logo of the costume, you know. And that's the end of the movie, you know. I so I always enjoy I always enjoy the Incredibles, you know. It's a great film, anime film, you know. Um. I think I think when I did my video, my top ten favorite Disney films. I didn't put this on there by by mention it, you know. Yeah, even though um, I didn't put this on my top list, though, but I always still enjoy this film. Doesn't mean I don't. Doesn't mean if I don't put it on my top ten or whatever or list of my favorite Disney films, doesn't mean I like the film, you know. I always enjoy the film, you know. It's a great, it's a great Disney film, but I just didn't think put it on my put it on my list, you know. Because there's other films I thought I always enjoyed more, though, but. I still, I still, I still love The Incredibles. It's a great um, film, and I'm glad finally that's gonna get a sequel. You know, uh, me and my brother are looking forward to seeing it. You know, and also before I say that, this is also a two disc, a uh, two disc edition. You know, the first, um, the first disc contains a comment, uh, audio commentary. The second disc has more features, deleted scenes, alternate opening, um, behind the scenes, they have the making of The Incredibles. Um, uh, anim an animated um, sh a short with a uh, Jack Jack, you know. Um, oh, look, it contains another uh, Pixar animated short film. Um, bloopers, top secret files on all the supers, you know. As I also said, it has more though. Um, um, uh, Richard uh, Corliss on um, of time says so in the back here. Um, the year's wittiest, zippiest adventure with each knockout action sequence eclipsing the last. <laughs>
So, and also um, Peter Travers from Rolling Stone calls it, it's James Bond, Indiana Jones, and X-Men all rolled into one. Yeah. Well, of course, it's, of course, it's superheroes, you know. Of course, all those characters act like they're superheroes, you know. Well, even though, like, James Bond and Indiana Jones are like normal people, but they act like they're invincible, you know, because they don't seem to die, you know, because all the impossible things, you know, that's because it's, it's, even though it's not real, you know, because, you know, James Bond, all the things, you know, him getting shot multiple times, still doesn't die, you know, Indiana Jones, all these crazy stuff, you know, he still doesn't die, you know. And, of course, the X-Men, of course, like, I take, you can see easily because they're all superheroes, you know. But I always, but I enjoy the, the Incredibles. The and the voice cast did a really great job. Craig, Craig T. Nelson, great as Mr. Incredible. Holly Hunter as Elast Elastic Girl was great. Um, Jason Lee, good, good a uh, villain as Syndrome. You know, um, Samuel Jackson's Frozone didn't appear in the film that much though. But but he's but Samuel, but he was but he was still great. But he was still good though. Even um uh let's see, Elizabeth uh, Pena who was um. The agent um, of syndromes, um, Mir Mira, Mirage. She she was she was fine as well, you know. Um, she only appeared. Like, she also didn't appear too much, you know. But um, like she, well, those the reasons, you know, that um, she helped like towards the in the film, she helped um, provide um, uh, switching of a code, you know, that um, syndrome change, you know, he says, you know, like um, when Mr. Krebel said, you know, uh, syndrome has already changed the password right now. How we're gonna Get a new one, and and um, Mirage uh, says on the microphone says, "Say please," you know, helps him helps him out with that. But then after that, she just dis disappears, you know, never to be seen again for the rest of the film, you know. But oh, well, she 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 still did fine as as the as the character on um, um, Mirage, you know. Um, and even a uh, Brad uh, director Brad Bird boy provided the voice for Inda, you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, and also the voice of the kids, um, uh, Spencer Fox as Dash and, uh, Sarah uh, Vowell as, uh, Violet, they were, they were, they were, they were good as well. Um, so I, I am looking forward to seeing two for, for a sequel to the, to the Incredibles, you know. Um, it deserves a praise, it deserves to win those Academy Awards, um. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. And I'm, oh, and, and, I, and I do, I, I do enjoy The Incredibles. I always will enjoy The Incredibles. It's a great Disney Pixar film, you know. Um, same thing. Uh, the same thing. I also have to say about The Incredibles. Um, no, that, 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 that is pretty much it, you know. So yeah. So that's my review of The Incredibles. If you still haven't seen it. I I would really advise checking out checking out the film, you know, if you still have if you still haven't seen it, you know. So so that's it. Um I was like I said, I'm sure very a lot of, a lot of people are fa are a fan of this film, you know, and even even there I don't think there's hardly any people who dislike this film, you know. If there is, that's their opinions, you know. But I'm sure like a lot of like more than 75 to 8 percent of people like this film, you know, because it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty damn good film, you know, and it's a great Disney film as well, you know, so that's it, The Incredibles, thanks for watching, take care, and stay tuned on the next uh, movie review, later.